Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Kuo. I am the orthopedic spinal surgeon at the Illinois Orthopedic Institute in Joliet. We're talking about the sacroiliac joint today and how it's often missed diagnosis of back pain and hip pain. Well, the sacroiliac joint is the joint between the sacrum, which is the bottom of the spine, and the ilium, which is the top of the pelvis. Uh, it actually forms the uh, interface between the two different parts, very important parts of the axial skeleton. And the way it functions is that it actually just twists just a little bit. Extremely strong joint, and it's held together by multiple ligaments, and it's also stabilized by multiple muscles that go across it, like the gluteus, etc. I first noticed my back pain when I intermittently got pain in my, no, not in my lower back, my buttocks. And, you know, it was here and there, stop here, stop there. And then it became more um, prevalent, where it was almost every step I was taking. And I was, so I went to my regular doctor and he did some tests. Okay, bend your leg this way and do this. And I felt that, um, okay, this is weird, but we'll go with it. So I, um, decided to um, do physical therapy on his recommendation for about six weeks. And after the six weeks, they were like, okay, did it help? It did not help. I'm like, it didn't help at all. So um, we continued further and he sent me to Dr. Quill. The most common complaint I see with my patients with sacroiliitis is that they tell me they either have back pain or they have hip pain. But the one thing they do do is they actually point at the sacroiliac joint. And the most common provocative factor in their daily lives is when they get up and down from a chair. What they complain about most is if I sit too long, it hurts, I have to lean away from that part that hurts, and they point to their sacroiliac joint. And then they tell me when they stand up, it is very painful for a little while until they start walking. Once they start walking, the pain often improves. My home life was affected by the pain, the, the fact that I couldn't do basic things, um, such as, okay, I can't do the laundry, um, cooking dinner. Well, don't you cook dinner sitting in a chair? Not usually. Um, Mom, why can't we go to the mall? Mom, why can't we go to the pool? Mom, why can't we? Because I'm in pain. And when they're young, when kids are younger, they don't understand as much. So it did, it affects everything. In my practice, sacroiliac pain is still a minority of most of the lumbar spine problems I see. However, I often see that someone has been treated for back pain. They've had cortisone injections or epidural steroid injections and or facet injections in their lumbar spine. That pain's not going away. However, when you examine them, they once again, they point to the sacroiliac uh, areas as painful and they tell you that their pain is worse when they get up and down from a chair, transitional motions. And then when you examine them, you find that the provocative maneuvers for the lumbar spine don't cause significant pain. However, the provocative maneuvers, maneuvers for sacroiliitis do cause pain. After going on, you know, the, the iFuse website, I, you know, I felt that, I felt comfortable and I felt comfortable with the fact that, that Dr. Quo knew what she was doing with this, with the iFuse and I decided, you know, the, the, the testimonials that I had read on, on the website, I was happy with and I decided just to go ahead and let's go ahead with the surgery. Because the sacroiliac joint rocks or twists like this, if you just put a regular screw in there, there's always a chance that that can loosen the screw, no matter how big the screw is. Because this is uh, triangular, uh, when you put it in, it's going to help kind of limit how much that twisting happens and as and as it limits it, it gives you just enough stability for the fusion. It also keeps the uh, sacred electron from rotating around the implant because it's triangular. IFUSE has been out the longest and it truly did kind of revolutionize this, the treatment of sacred electron joints. IFUSE gave me my life back. It, it, it most certainly did. I couldn't imagine myself not having the surgeries. If you think you have SI dysfunction, and you wish to be evaluated, feel free to give us a call. We would love to be, uh, to have the chance to take care of you.